Glenn Waverley. Well, thank you, Deputy Speaker, and I don't know how I can follow that or top that in any way, shape or form. Um, it, it, is, it is a deep honour to rise uh, in, to speak in... Well, I'll get to that, but no, I wasn't. Uh, I, I, want it, I want it on the record that no, I was not an au pair in Sweden, but I, I am very much... I'm very, I'm very much looking forward to, uh, to meeting with the member for Albert Park to discuss her uh, time in Sweden, looking after the kids of uh, Swedish parents. We'll, 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 we'll do that after this session is over. Um, but I do rise to speak in favour of the Early Childhood uh, uh, Legislation Amendment Premises Approval in Principle Bill 2023. And I want to pay tribute to Minister Blanform, Blanthorne in the other place and everyone involved in bringing this important piece of legislation uh, to this House. I do want to acknowledge the member for Albert Park. Now, you are have been an early you uh, you have been an early childhood educator of, of, of the, a teacher sorry a teacher but yeah no but I, I acknowledge that and that experience that you bring to this house when giving contributions on bills such as these through the chair the early childhood education is a policy area which I have a strong passion for as the father of a five-year-old daughter I want to make sure that along with her peers and every single Victorian um, that they're given the best opportunity to grow and learn now, my daughter's been very fortunate over the last two years to experience uh, the three-year-old and four-year-old kinder program. Um, obviously, we're just starting to roll that out, and um, she experienced the, the five hours of three-year-old kinder last year, and also uh, is currently uh, just finishing her last term of the four-year-old program, doing 15 hours uh, a week, and looking forward to that being expanded out over the next, uh, the next uh, decade. And so, um, just, just noticing the experience my daughter has had by going through early childhood education, you, just, you notice the change in her, in her academic prowess, her picking up of, of, of the alphabet, her numbers, um, her, her, her picking up on social, the social aspects of um, emotions and things like that. She, she, you, know, you, just, you notice it on a week-by-week -week basis of the changes in, 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 the, in the child's development from this. Um, we all know that 90% uh, that of brain development uh, is done before the age of five, uh, five years old. And I want to uh, give a very happy birthday to my daughter for last week when she turned five years of age. And um, that's, why I'm, that's, that, that's why I am proud uh, to be part of an Allen Labor government which invests in early childhood education, including our nation leading free kinder policy. Um, I will, however, return to the proud legacy in just a moment after I dis discuss the details of this bill. In the 2019 review on the National Quality Framework, uh, the framework regulating early childhood service provisions, quality and safety issues were detected in the design of multi-storey early childhood service buildings. This bill seeks to directly address uh, these concerns and uh, this bill will establish a process to obtain the approval in principle for new early childhood service locations in multi-storey buildings, which are three storeys or more. Uh, it, is also, it is important to note that the approval in principle will be in the planning and design stage in both a construction or an alteration of a building, and this means more time and money is saved in the potential occurrence of an NGF non-compliance, and overall transparency and certainly for involved parties. The premises approval in principle scheme is accessible on a voluntary basis as the government wishes to assess the suitability and sustainability of multi-storey premises. Um, for early childhood service delivery. And uh, the bill does include the ability to make this scheme mandatory in future if required. This bill also amends the Children's Services Act 1996 in order to ensure that the approval in principle process for multi-storey premises are available for all, uh, all early childhood services. Further, uh, this amendment to the Ch Children's Services Act guarantees the quality and safety of any early childhood service. Uh, services by subjecting them to the same scrutiny of regulatory enforcement mechanisms. It is also important to note that the targeted consultation with key stakeholders took place in the drafting process of this bill. Uh, no stakeholders have raised any concerns with the pr proposed approach, and these stakeholders include the Property Council of Australia, the Urban Development Institute of Australia, uh, the Master Builders Association of Australia, and also the Department of Transport and Planning and the Department of Justice and Community Safety were also consulted. The extent of such consultative engagement demonstrates the soundness of this bill. These are quite straightforward and simple, uh, yet necessary changes to ensure the safety and quality of our early childhood services. Um, to understand the specific requirement of this bill, the uniqueness of the multi-storey building as an early childhood service delivery site must be acknowledged. One clear example is the added complexity of evacuations. Careful site management and planning is required, as young children take longer to evacuate than adults. Um, 
The National Quality Framework Guidelines state that buildings must include direct access to emergency exits and external muster points, as well as utilisable uh, building evacuation infrastructure. It also requires a clear and appropriate building evacuation procedure, fit for purpose, with child safety in mind. There have been instances where in Victoria new buildings have complied with local planning laws, uh, including the aforementioned safety regulations, but not with, uh, with the NQF. This results in delays and additional cost pressures as additional works are required. The approval in principle scheme has the benefit of being able to identify any necessary improvements to the design, safety or mechanisms of buildings to be used for early childhood service delivery. This saves time and money as well as reducing risk to everyone involved. The changes in this bill are also just one part of a large and ambitious agenda this government has for the early childhood sector. We understand that for every dollar we invest into early childhood education, two dollars of value will be returned to the Victorian community. However, numbers in an economical sense, it, uh, numbers in the economical sense do not, just, uh, do not do justice to the profound impact uh, good education has on the state and our people. Uh, you cannot put a monetary figure on the everlasting changes to a child's life. If they are given opportunities like uh, that they wouldn't otherwise have had, if it weren't for the Allen Labor government's investment. When you give, a ch give every child, regard regardless of socioeconomic background, the opportunity to rise up and grasp their potential through a world-class early education system, you are making a lifelong investment in their life. We believe in investing in the power of people, the power of potential and the power of education. And our best start, best life reforms do just that. S starting this year, families all across Victoria are benefiting from the savings of up to $2,500 per child per year, thanks to the free kinder program that this government has introduced. Over the next decade, we'll be increasing the number of hours of free kinder to 15 hours per week for three-year-olds and 30 hours of universal pre-prep for four-year-olds. This is saving families money, giving parents the freedom to return to work and contribute to our economy, giving all children and the future of our state a world-class start to their education. These reforms and changes will form a proud legacy of the Andrews and Allen Labor government that will be remembered. Since being elected to represent the people of Glen Waverley last year, I've had the absolute pleasure of visiting many of my kindergartens in, in my area and would like to acknowledge the work of early childhood educators, staff and their parents for the incredible work uh, at, the, at the Waverley Kids Children's Centre, Bamboo Early Learning Centre, Sindal Preschool, Tully Ho Preschool, Baraburn Preschool, Burwood Heights Kindergarten and the Petite Early Learning Forest Hill and many more. When I visit these kinders, I'm once again reminded of our once-in-a-generation reforms and the positive impacts it has on the next generation of Victorians. We lead the nation in our ubiquitous efforts of bold, positive reforms to make our education system better than it is today. We are the education state for a good reason. We're always striving to enshrine opportunities for all children, delivering the best results and outcomes, whilst ensuring safety regulations are efficient and up-to-date. This bill does just that, addressing the design and safety concerns within the early childhood service premises, and I commend the bill to the House. The member for